my good folk, it's SureShot, Mr. SureShot. I'm back here to play more folklore. In the last episode, I took down the barges, a uh, kind of a mini boss, not a true boss. And I came here to the fairy lord's, I guess, hut, I guess, that weird tree in the distance. In this episode, I think I'm going to go back to uh, Doolin to do some side quests. There should be, I believe, two side quests now open for me. And so, I guess I, uh, bleh, I'll try to knock them out in this episode, pretty much. Yeah. Um, I guess something I should have addressed, uh, not in the last episode, but uh, I guess it's more important to address it here, is that these next couple of episodes are going to be rather short, uh, probably around 10 to 12 minutes long, because, well, uh, there's been some personal stuff I have, I've been dealing with, uh, well, uh, more like side projects I've been working on, and I haven't had the time to, uh, pretty much, uh, keep these videos fully update, um, because I'm also working on my, uh, Alice Asylum, uh, videos as well, so... And plus, there's, there's just so much going on on my side that I don't have enough time to keep up with, uh, uh, what, what am I trying to say? I don't, I, I don't have time to keep up with the schedule, my video upload schedule, so things should be, uh, okay for now, but for the most part, these next couple of episodes are probably gonna be like, eh, I don't know, say like 10 to 12 minutes long at best. Uh, but yeah, but for the most part, that we sh I should get most of the, my objectives done, hopefully, hopefully, but I would say in this episode, I'm mostly going to be taking care of the side quest, because there should be two open, if I remember correctly, and yeah, so, let's see, and I think there's some new faces here, uh, let's see, okay, no, there's, uh, there's those two, uh, did we see these guys before? Uh, yeah, uh, what are the uh uh I forget their names. Oh yeah, ga gam or gam and g I forget ga gam gam and g I think yeah um because I was thinking of garm I was like no wait no that garm I think garm's like a Norse garm is like a Norse uh character he's like a wolf I think or it's like a, I mean I don't know it, pretty much I met these characters before but I want to talk to Goncona, or yeah, Gon, Gon, Goncona. Uh, let's see what we have for quests. Here's the available quests. So we have the gig and defeat the barges. So I'm gonna do both of these because they are open for me. Let's see the gig. Help the famous saxophonist Charlie. Charlie hold a concert. Reward green quartz. Two of them. Okay, I'll accept. Cool. Do you know Charlie Rawhead? No, I do not. He plays a mean, uh, saxophone. Yeah, saxophone. We Half-Lives love to watch Charlie play. But he always refuses to perform for us. I really want to hear him jam, but it seems that he has some kind of problem. Would ye, would ye go to the fairy realm and talk to Charlie? I'll happily do that. And good thing I get to transport the, to the fairy realm uh, in an instant. I don't have to walk all the way back to the stone hinges, which is, which is nice. It is nice. It is nice. And we have my fairy cloak. Also, by the way, um, I want to apologize uh, for something. Oh, hello, Freezy. Freezy. Oh man, I, I just love Freezy or Frizzy. I follow Chotty here. I wouldn't miss his performance for the world. He said he's prepping his instrument. The best musicians fuss over what they play on. Uh, but you know, I just love Fre I love her dress. I'm sorry. I keep on gawking every time I see Freezy. But uh, something. Oh, actually. Uh, okay. Well, this is Charlie. Uh, I'm gonna save what I'm about to say later. And look at this guy. Oh, hello. Did you come here to, to hear me play? Believe me, I don't want to let my fans down. But for the best sound, I need a reed car from Fairywood. A reed? That's right. Can't make noise without one. 
Okay, so we need to find him a reed for his saxophone. So let's go down and see if we can find one. But, uh, okay, so what I was saying before is that I kind of want to apologize uh, for, okay, for two things. One, even though it's not really, uh, it was more so of me just kind of like, kind of like going with the flow, not really remembering it stuff, but I, I don't know, I just felt a little bit embarrassed that I didn't remember about the, uh, the fairy cloak, because the fairy cloak is, uh, one of the few outfits that you're primarily going to be using, um, well, depending on the person, but for me, the fairy cloak is one of the most useful cloaks you can have, even though I don't think there's a lot of enemies that actually put you to sleep, but it's definitely a lot more useful in a, uh, it's, it's useful in a lot of situations that are coming up in the future of, you know, further down the line of this area, but, um, I don't know, I guess it was just a little bit of a, I guess he, I guess you would call it a brain fart, but, um, no, I think, uh, it, it was all kind of good at the end of the day, it's just, I don't know, I just felt a little bit, uh, I wouldn't really say salty, but I just felt a little bit, uh, I felt a little bit ashamed that, I mean, because, you know, because I, I, I love this game, and this is one of my, uh, one of, one of those few games that people hardly uh, hear about, and it's one of my all-time favorite games, and, you know, I want to express it with you people, but, uh, but no, that's just my little nitpick, and another thing I want to apologize for is the books, and, oh, uh, let me just take these guys out so I can uh, show you guys what I mean, um, actually, uh, also, I forgot is that you can actually suck both, uh, both these guys at the same time, all you have to do is hook them both, and, yeah, yeah, you can actually do, uh, multiple, whoa, I guess I got hit there, but you can actually, uh, absorb, uh, multiple enemies at the same time. I just, I don't know, I guess I never get the chance to do it, or I just completely forget. But, again, okay, so, going to the picture books, if I can, uh, come on. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay, so the picture books. Something I for totally forgot to point out is these picture books pretty much show off, uh, the weakness of the the folk in each realm and I totally forgot to point this out because as you can see right here that creature right there is the Kate sheet from the last episode and I should have used the uh the um what are those guys called uh not the impets the uh shoot what, what were those things called again uh crap Ah, okay, uh, I can't remember, uh, okay, wait, hold on a second, let me, uh, go back, let me go back, uh, come on, brownies, oh, god, the brownies, god damn it, yes, the brownies, yeah, I can use the brownies to immobilize the Kate sheet so I can capture them, totally forgot to do that, I totally forgot to point that out, um, I believe two episodes ago, but, yeah, uh, those picture books are used to find out the weakness of the enemies, and I just felt bad for not pointing that out because that could have been really helpful for catching those Kate sheets, but I didn't get to do that. And also, by the way, uh, when I said in the beginning of the, of the video how these episodes are going to be like 10 to 12 minutes long, uh, not this episode. This episode is mainly going to be me uh, looking for uh, pretty much doing the side quest. They're not... Well, actually, I'll probably just do one of the side quests. It, I guess it just kind of depends on how I feel today, because I am pretty, uh, I have other things to do today, but, you know, um, I'm here to, I'm here for you guys, and I'm just here, so, uh, so yeah, but, let's, uh, let's take you guys out, um, I don't remember where the reed is located, but it should be close by, and, oh, jeez, come on, uh, okay, uh, come on, let's take out this kill mollus. Uh, the video should be at least, uh, at least for the future videos. I would probably say, like, the next 10, well, I, well, 10, well, I mean, no, I mean, the next probably three to four videos are gonna be, like, 10 minutes long, because, you know, things, I have other, uh, projects on mine, and I wouldn't have time to play, like, say, like, 30 minutes of this game, and get everything, like, rendered and, uh, you know, edit and stuff like that, because editing takes a long-ass time. Um, 
especially nowadays because you know I'm starting to experience the the pain of e of editing videos. It's 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 a bother. But uh, anyway, continue on here. We should be getting close, I think. Um, I think I'm supposed to talk to an. Oh, hello. We have this uh, abomination. I can't wait. I can't wait until Charlie shakes up the pub with his music. I know this is supposed to be a girl, but uh, I, I just give him a guy voice because I'm like, whatever. Because no one, because that is just, uh, that's just one crazy looking woman. But I'm supposed to talk to one of the, uh, fair, uh, um, elf, uh, fairy folk, elf guys here. And I think this is the guy. Uh, let's see. Um, oh yeah, fairy. Excuse me, could I have a fairy read? Certainly, if you know someone skilled enough to use it. Here you are, one read, carved from fairy wood. You don't mind? Not at all. You are quite dear to our fairy lord. Even though we haven't really met the guy, but, you know, whatever. We got the fairy read. Cool. And I think that'll take us back... Oh, never mind. Um, I think it's when we leave that'll take us straight back to, to Charlie. The Charlie? Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. I think it should take us back to Charlie. Um, actually, a little uh, fun fact for, uh, for you guys is that I actually do play a, a musical instrument. I play a bassoon. Um, I still have it with me. I I used to play in high school. I I haven't been playing it as much anymore, but I still have the instrument with me. Uh, and I know that feeling. I know that feeling of not having a, a, a broken reed or just or or needing a reed. I I've been through that before. It is one of the most irritating things as a musician. It's just it's a pain. Um, oh man, especially back in high school when you're like the only bassoonist. Like seriously, I was I was the only person who played the bassoon. And whenever my reeds were broken or like uh, um, just you know. That they couldn't work is like my teacher couldn't provide me with any reeds, so I have to go out and buy some. And the store that sold the reeds had like, oh man, like their reeds were like, uh, uh, like I think they're like eleven to twelve dollars. I'm like for a a freaking reed, twelve dollars for a reed? Are you kidding me? It's it, it it's it's bullshit. It really is. Um, uh, I mean I could have I probably could have found a better store, but you know. But anyway. I can't wait. Oh, we have Gone Corner. He's the best in all the netherworld. And now we can finally hear him. Oh boy. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna be smooth jazz. Hello, welcome to my concert. Thanks to Ellen, I now have the fairy reed. With it, I'll be able to achieve sound beyond wonder. Well, hurry up now. We want to hear it. Okay, here we go. Oh. Go on. What's going on? We're waiting. Sorry. I can't play. I have no windpipes. Oh, don't, don't give me that excuse. If the skeletons from Corpse Bride can play saxophones, then you can too. You're just being a pussy, pussy. He doesn't even have one. And that's it. Yep. <laughs> that's it. Yep. Exactly. That that was it. That was that was the side quest. You know, we just got him a read, but he can't play it. So yeah. But. I think I have time for the last side quest. Okay, and that is defeat Bargest. Yes, defeat Bargest. Exterminate Bargest. Reward three, uh, three of pulsed tree nuts, warm tree nuts, and cold tree nuts. Cool. So yeah, let let's do it. That Bargest keeps mm, getting in the way of our fairy tree sap harvesting. The alcohol we make from a uh, fairy tree sap is exquisite. We, would ye go sort that out? Okay, cool. Now this is pretty... I wouldn't really say tough. It's just... Uh, eh, it's just kind of time-consuming. 
Uh, do I want to waste my time just walking back over here? Well, mm, well, I guess there is something I kind of want to talk about. Um, something that I should have addressed again from the very first episode. And you know what? Actually, no. I, I want to save it. I want to save what I want to say for uh, when we actually get the chance to see him again because. There's something about, there's a certain character in this game that I do want to talk great lengths about, but I don't want to talk about him yet because, well, we haven't been seeing him too uh, that much lately, so, yeah. So, I think what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to cut ahead to where I need to go. So, see you guys then. And I'm back. So, um, along the way, there are some old enemies like the Darus and the Ogma. So, some of the enemies, uh... Uh, further down will show up here just to make the road a bit challenging, but yes, I need to fight the barges again For the second time second revenge, I guess and oh geez So again based on the books I, sh I showed before is that these guys are weak against the Okma because well well, I, okay, they're not weak, but they're the only ones that can actually damage them so because of their uh, I guess their horns so I take him down come on come on there's just one of the- oh, god, okay. Um, just need to take- oh, he fell down. Oh, 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 come on, come on. Oh, there we go. And red, come on. There we go. There we go. Then got two more. One more. Okay, no, this is the last one. Come on. Yeah, there we go. And that was it. Yep, that was all. There, that should do it. Hmm? Yep! Oh, yeah, yeah, this is it. Yep, we have to fight two more! Yes, this game just loves to troll. Yep, we have two more barges to fight at the same time. Yeah, that's a, that's a treat. So, uh, I don't think I'll be able to suck both of these guys up. I'll probably have to take one of them out, which, you know, that's fine. I mean, I, I'm not... I'm not too sure how to release uh, the karma of both the barges. Um, well, no, uh, I don't know how to release the karma of the barges, which I don't know if I have to suck up both of them. Actually, you know what? Let me check. I'm, I'm curious now. Let's see. Um, karma info. Absorb one barge. Okay, so, and defeat two gargantua with barges gargantua that's an enemy that we have not run into yet so i can't do anything about that so we don't have to absorb any of these guys but you know it's nice to just kind of like get them out of the way so gotta fight two barge two barges barges actually um actually no never mind um i don't think a barges because I, I think I said this before in the last episode that some of these enemies are based off of actual mythological creatures like like from Celtic or Pagan and oh god uh oh oh god oh god oh 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 wait oh nothing oh I was okay um looks like he didn't did he attack me I couldn't tell from that um can I switch opponents I want to attack you because you are okay here we go um does he attack me I don't think he attacked me let's see uh okay he's he's doing his spiky thing so he won't attack me cool and just come on come on just in the red there we go okay actually he oh he won't damage me in this state okay cool and oh come on come on there we go just one more and oh never mind he can oh okay okay so he can damage me when i'm uh, absorbing a foe okay i guess that's news in my book come on just just die die there we go okay so just one more this guy should be easy to take out yeah, come on, let's go. And oh, okay, cool. And let's go. And oh, um, come on, there we go. Again, two more. Come on. Yeah, there we go. And the mission is complete. Looks like they were hiding. That should that should definitely be it. Indeed, it is. And, oh god, Gon Conor is looking a lot like Cousin It. Thanks to you, the top can keep on flowing. Oh, uh, here's your reward. You know, just a token of my appreciation and all that. And there we go. Quest Roar, three pulse tree nuts. 
and three warm tree nuts and three cold tree nuts and those ones look very phallic but whatever and yeah very cool very very cool so i think with that being said i think i'm gonna end it off here so next time on folklore we'll be going i'll be going back to i believe the fairy uh wait what was that fourth part i don't remember pretty much the fairy realm i'll be going back to the fairy realm and we'll be talking to the fairy lord so this is mr sure shot i'll see you guys on the other side <laughs>